What's up everyone and welcome to Ola Learns I've been waiting for this day No, I haven't been waiting for this day But Metallica dropped a new song yesterday Lux Eterna and people are going a about it It's a new Metallica song, there's a new album coming in April next year Holy sh**! It's funny because yesterday I was thinking, you know, this LTD guitar, James Hatfield guitar I need to demo this thing soon and I don't know what to do exactly And then Metallica came to the rescue and gave us a song, Lux Eterna, let's go I figured I would learn this song today using this uh, LTD James Hatfield camouflage guitar I'm sure you can't see it, but it's there, okay? Are you sure? There is a guitar right here, but it's very hard to see I've already heard this song once, me and Louise listened to it yesterday she shut it off after the first course. I don't know what her deal is, but uh, maybe she wasn't into it. We're gonna check it out today. Let's listen. I'm just ready to go. I'm gonna use the YouTube video because why not? The good thing about YouTube now is that you can speed things up and speed things down if you want. And uh, as you might have heard already, this song is pretty, pretty rock and roll, baby. Double kick. And this this main riff is very Motorhead, man. That little da na na na. That's just so Metallica. Uh, all right, let's just start from the top, man. I just assume that the tuning for the song is standard E because it's Metallica, you know. So this guitar is tuned to standard E, okay? All right, let's check it out. Na na da da na da da. Okay. Easy. Oh shit. Is that yeah, man. Is it here? Is that why I was playing it? There we go. Hey, baby. <laughs> Okay, okay. Rock and roll, let's go. That's actually quite uh, tough to... I assume that James Hatfield is doing down picking, so, you know. You know, it's rock and roll, but actually kind of complicated with that down picking. Ugh. Okay, but we got it. Main riff. Okay, we got that down. <laughs> That's just a pick drag like that. Okay. Okay, we got the A in the bottom there. So Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Slow it uh, on the seventh fret to the fifth fret and then the zero fret. So Okay. Then you have the octave, so you have the A and the the octave A right there. So then seven to eight verse. We're, this is going quick, guys. Oh, you can see what he's playing actually. Is he doing down picking? Okay. 
Is that it? Okay. Okay. Rock and roll, baby, it all makes sense. Like, all of these things are just very classical. <laughs> Pretty easy. Okay. Oh, hello, that was Kirk. Something like that, huh? Oh shit, I forgot that you can slow it down. Let's slow it down a little bit. Okay. Okay. Pretty simple, just a standard pentatonic. All right, okay. Okay. It's a little bit of a Mission Impossible right there. Dan, 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 dan. Okay, Kirk. Okay, we're gonna go back to Kirk later. The problem right now is just remembering the different parts and when they go, but so far, pretty straightforward, I must say. Oh. <laughs> okay. Solo time. Okay, very Kirky, I must say. Probably a pentatonic. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a whammy bar on this guitar. Okay, let's slow it down. Let YouTube work its magic. Okay. Okay, 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 we got this, it's easy. <laughs> okay. Something like that. Something like that, but uh... I mean, it's good that I'm also a little bit sloppy like Kirk. <laughs> I think it's, it sounds like that. I think that's it. In some weird sloppy way. <laughs> I don't know, man. He, I think he's just, uh, he's just, uh, he's just picking and then there's some notes in between the picking. <laughs> that's, that's what it is. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, all right. Okay, slow and sloppy, we have this. <laughs> that sounds fucking terrible. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Kirky.
Okay, so all right. Uh, let me let me bring out a floor guitar. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> what? Birthday, 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 birthday. That's that. <laughs> Is that it? I think he's doing something like that. I think that's what he's doing. <laughs> when they recorded this, I don't think there's a rhyme or reason to the playing here. He probably improvised this solo at the spot for recording the song. So solos like that, it's a little bit tough to just figure out uh, timing-wise. While a guy like John Petrucci, for instance, has everything set. You know, this uh, Kirk Hammond has a little bit more blues in him, or uh, maybe lack of blues or blues. I don't know. <laughs> but there's a little bit of a, uh, of a of a of a guitar player's feel in it that might you know, get lost while trying to learn it like this. So you probably have to listen to this a whole bunch of times just to get the timing right of this solo. So, okay. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, obviously, there's gonna be people that are way more accurate with this uh, online that you can look up. I'm just listening to this for the first time, trying to figure out really quick. Uh, I think that's it, by the way. Uh, should we try and play it up to speed, maybe? Okay, great, Ola. Let's just continue the song. I really like the production of this. Oh shit. Okay, I'm gonna try this song uh, with this uh, this guitar instead. So I have the the whammy. Okay. Okay, let's go.
no, I fucked it up. Oh. Oh my god, that sucked ass. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, there you go. That's how long? Like 39 minutes. Not too bad, man. Not too bad. Obviously, the purpose with all the learns is that I sit with the song and try and learn it by ear, other than, you know, going online and watching tutorials and stuff like that. There's gonna be stuff that's gonna be wrong, and, you know, that's fine. Sometimes you have to sit and really pay attention to some of the things that they're playing. And as you can see in here, the solo has... I have a lot to do. And, uh, you know, I can, I can probably work it out if I just practice it. But, you know, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna end it right here. But, dude, I think this is a pretty fun song, actually. And even though it might not be, you know, tough Metallica, it's a little bit more rockabilly, a little bit more rock and roll. It's still pretty good, man. It's still pretty good. And unfortunately, the LTD guitar didn't have the Floyd Droz that I needed for Kirk Hammett's solo. But it's still pretty cool, man. It and you know, the EMGs definitely help out a little bit with the rhythm section there, so it sounds, it sounds really good. But obviously I'm gonna make a proper video demo of this guitar. But, uh, you know, I wanted to use it in this video because it's, it's Metallica's new song, man. Lux Eterna. If you enjoyed this video, maybe consider subscribing to my channel. Also, as I'm recording this, I have no idea if this video is going to get blocked by Metallica or not. But if it does get blocked, you can still support me at oldenglandshop.com. Good luck with that. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow or something. Okay, goodbye.